very much for your testimony. Uh, Representative Bettencourt. Thank you very much, Madam Chairman. <clears throat> To be perfectly honest with you, I had just come in to um, take in the proceedings for a few moments, but unfortunately there, there have been some things that have been said that, are quite frankly, um, I think need to be rebutted. And one of the things is, I'm very concerned, particularly with so many people who have joined us here this afternoon, about the perception that people are getting about what this building and what the State House are like on a daily basis and the kinds of people that, that come here on a daily basis. Now, I'm not the most senior member in the House by any stretch of the imagination, uh, but I wasn't elected yesterday either. And when I've come here, in all of my, my times, whether it be committee or full session, uh, the people that I have found in this building are people who want to make a difference for the state of New Hampshire in a positive way. They are people who are committed to advocate for what is for policies that are in the best interest of their fellow neighbors and of the state. And I say that because listening to some of the testimony, it's not hard to get the impression that the people who come here every day are highly emotional people, disgruntled about any numerous things, and at any moment could start waving a gun around. And that simply isn't the case. That simply is not the case. The people who are here on a daily basis are here because they care about the state and they want to engage in the democratic process. And this perception uh, that roaming around the halls are, are dangerous people is, is simply not the case. <clears throat> now, we spent the whole first half of the year um, and part of this year talking about expanding rights and how important it was that we not discriminate and expand rights. We had a very healthy and thorough discussion about expanding rights. And yet here we are today, here we are today facing a policy issue that would essentially say that a person's right to keep and bear arms stops at the very house that we have come to call the people's house. In my opinion, that flies in the face of everything that we discussed in great detail in the first year of this session. And finally, Madam Chairman, I have mentioned the fact that I have been very um, nervous about the perception that has been created with some of the testimony. But I'll tell you what does give this house a bad perception. And that is the process by which all of this came about. This ban was adopted around the holidays by an obscure committee. A committee that, again, I haven't been around the House forever, but I've been around long enough to know a lot of the committees, and even those who aren't so-called standing. And the authority of this facilities committee to do this was something I certainly wasn't aware of. And I have a strong feeling that neither do a lot of the folks in this room and much of the public. It was not very well advertised. Yet it has far-reaching effects. And Madam Chairman, I hope that one way or the other, <coughs> moving forward, that this committee will go back to being the obscure committee that deals with the limited issues that it was set out to, and stays away from these controversial issues that should be dealt with through legislation, which raises one last fact. This subject matter was dealt with in legislation. It was overwhelmingly voiced upon by the representatives last session, and yet it is quite clear that what has taken place here is a circumventing of the legislative process. That when enough votes couldn't be gathered through the process that we go through every Wednesday, that it was determined that, well, the best way to do this is to use this Let's facilities committee. Let's not speculate committee. on motives, Representative. Well, Madam Chairman, I'm simply saying what worries me. 
you, you about the reputation of this happened, house. But let's not talk about. Motives. Well, it is what happened, Madam Chairman. It is what happened. And there's no motives here. It's a recollection of what happened, and that's what happened. And I think it's a shame that when the legislative process made very clear where the House stood on this issue, there were those who felt it was appropriate to turn around and use this other committee to do this. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Are there questions? I have been asked to make the new sheet, so I will do that. Uh, Representative Lars Christensen has checked that he is opposed. Madam Chair, the reason I wanted to ask that question was I just wanted to know how many were came in against. I mean, I don't think if anyone's got a mind, we read all the names. I was more concerned just how many were against and how many that came in and signed for the bill, because we never hear that. Um, yeah. I mean, if anyone knows my rather than see or read all those names and stuff. You know. On sheet number one, I have 17 opposed and two well, that says pass with amendment, so I'm counting as an, as an opposed. So I have 17 supporting and one opposed. On sheet number two, I have... I have 19 as supporting and four opposed. On sheet number three, I have 21 opposed and two favoring. And that is what I have. I'm, uh, I'm told that the other sheets are blank. Is that 21 opposed on the other sheet? That was 21 oh, was in that favor and two opposed. Oh, two I'm sorry, but I said it was 21 support I and two opposed. Oh, and there is another sheet under that one where there are three in favor and one opposed. Thank you. And those sheets are of course available in the committee file if, if you want to be <coughs> uh, There's no one else who needs to say everybody has a chance to speak who wanted to speak. Seeing nothing further, I am going to adjourn the hearing. Thank you all very much for your attendance. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not sure exactly, but it's going to be before the 18th, so I mean, it's, it's would, you, would you not have it on a Monday? I would not have it on a Monday, because I, I think it's likely to be the Tuesday afternoon.